bright color, baby. You like it? <laughs> oh, this will be the smurfiest door in the whole village. Oh, that's the water for my Smurf fairy tea. I'll be back in a second, baby. You be good. Wake up! Oh, baby, no! Oh, sacre bleu! What have we here? Magnifique! Beautiful! Oh, what genius created this masterpiece? This masterpiece was created by Baby. Baby? Oh! Baby Smurf, you are going to be a great painter. La, 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 la. Ah, I love a walk in the forest. At last, at last, Azriel, victory is near. Cockamel, I'd better see what he's up to. Remember this day, Azriel, and remember it well. It marks the beginning of the end for those stinking, rotten, miserable Smurfs. Ah, I think I hear my secret weapon now. <laughs> Gotcha! Ah, you are a fine specimen. At long last, a plan that cannot fail. <laughs> Poor Gargamel. He never gives up. I wonder what it will be this time. That's right, baby. Now see if this gear works over there. Cordon Bleu! No, no, no! Come, come, my little crouton. To become a great painter, we must begin your training immediately. Oh, come on, be serious, Painter. Baby's going to be a great engineer. I've always known that. Look what Baby did this morning. What is it? Well, I'm not quite sure, but it's obviously the work of a mechanical genius. Genius, yes, but Baby is an artist. Oh, please, please, please. What is all this pickling about? <laughs> Why, listen to that. Free verse. Baby, you are obviously a poet. Answer. Engineer. Poet. <laughs> this place should do nicely, Azriel. After all, we wouldn't want this happening inside my chateau. <laughs> Ipso. Facto. Locust. Maxo. I've done it! Azriel! <laughs> I've done it! <laughs> oh, what a genius I am! <laughs> that it! Multiply! To the hundreds, the thousands, the million! <laughs> it worked, Azriel! It worked! What have I always said, Azriel? Destroy the forest, and you destroy the smurf! <laughs> yeah. Imagine Cargamel thinking that a tiny insect could in any way... Then again, hmm, now what can that be? Good grief! Those locusts will destroy the entire forest. So that's what Gargamel was up to. I must do something before it's too late. Hurry, my friends, save yourselves. I must reach out the village before it's too late. Amazing! They've cut me off! I'm trapped! Baby Smurf, uh, I sure wish I was as talented as you. Yep, I sure do. <laughs> oh, what's that beautiful sound? Why, why, Baby's a musical genius. I do, too. How come everybody thinks Baby's a genius? I know genius when I hear it. Of course, it'll be a while before you're as good as I am. <laughs> Try to imitate that. Mm, needs a lot of work, but uh, we can work on it. Come on, baby. Time to get back to engineering. Ah, uh, baby, time to get back to painting. You're both wrong. Baby's going to be a great musician. A musician? A musician? Hey, yeah. Oh, poor baby. It's time for your dinner. If you aren't properly fed, you won't grow up at all. Oh, Smurfette, I think it's my turn to feed baby. May I? Why, thank you, Brainy. I'll never see my little Smurfs. Ah! Feathers! Thank you, Feathers. Now hurry. 
We must reach Smurf Village before the locusts. <coughs> Baby Smurf, I always say better feed the mind than the stomach. Therefore, I am personally going to introduce you to the true profession the future holds in store for you. You will be an intellectual. Oh, gosh, an intellectual. Can I watch? Even better, you can help. Hmm, not profound enough. Here. Hmm, better. Hold this and this. <laughs> Well, this one isn't so bad. Neither is this. But somewhere in all these books... Ah, 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 here it is! The definitive tome! The quotations of Brainy Smurf. How could Papa Smurf let it get so dusty? <laughs> Baby, what have you done? Oh, baby, how will Papa Smurf know which chemical is which? Uh, you can ask him, righty? Here he comes now. Oh, Clumsy, you mustn't tell Papa Smurf. We don't want him to get angry with Baby, do we? Well, no, uh, I guess not. But, but what if... Fine, you get Baby out of here, and I'll fix the labels before Papa Smurf finds out. The bee is on petal, Papa Smurf! Not now, my little Smurfs. We face a most dire threat to our very existence. A huge swarm of locusts, created by Gargamel, is approaching the village. I must immediately prepare something to stop them. Brainy, where's that bottle of dragon's breath? Hurry, Brainy. Here it is, Papa Smurf. I, I think. Hurry, my little Smurfs. They'll eat everything in sight. They'll eat everything? Oh, it's the end of the world. Fire! Yay! Oh, no! Your formula didn't work, Papa Smurf. What went wrong? I don't know. I'm positive I used all the right ingredients. There's still time for one more try. If I can only figure out what went wrong. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! I've got something to tell you! I don't understand. I'm sure I measured precisely. Oh, Papa Smurf, please forgive me. Forgive you? Brainy, what for? Your formula didn't work because, because, because Baby is going to be an intellectual. I don't understand. I, I was going to instruct Baby from your books, but Baby took all the labels off your chemicals and I put them back on. Wrong. Oh, no. That means I'll have to check out every one. We'll talk about this later, Brady. Hurry, Papa Smurf. The locusts are almost at the village. There's not a moment to lose. Ready, Papa Smurf? Fire! It's working, Papa Smurf. They're growing fewer in number. Amazing. They're gone. The locusts are gone. Hooray! Look at these beautiful dead branches, Azriel. Isn't it a lovely day? Any moment now, we'll come upon those rotten berry eaters with no berries left to eat, no forest to hide in, no place to go except into my net. <laughs> hmm. Why don't I hear the locusts anymore? They're diminishing. This is Papa Smurf's doing. Am I ever going to win? Just once, could I? You miserable little traitor! Get off of there! You hear me? Now cut that out! Don't you! Ow, ow, ow! Hey, ow! Thank you for saving us from the locusts, Papa Smurf. We're all so relieved. But we're all so sad because of what's happened to our forest. Of course you are. But the forest will recover, beginning with the next raid. Yeah! Yes, my little Smurfs, the forest is indeed turning green with this first raid. This much I could predict for you, but there is one thing not even I can know, and that is, what is the future role Baby Smurf will play in the world? Painter, chef, engineer, who knows? So let us all be patient, and now let's celebrate this wonderful rain with a little dance. Hooray! <laughs> about all the trouble I caused. I forgive you, Brainy, provided this teaches you that none of us is as smart as he thinks he is. Oh, it does, Papa Smurf. 
But you really do see that Baby Smurf will be an intellectual, don't you? I have no idea who Baby Smurf will take after. Now get out there and dance! Where in the world is that jar of powdered fish scales? I tell you, Azriel, it's getting difficult to find anything in this place. This potion must be ready by tonight's full moon, and I can't find my fish scales. Maddening! <laughs> Maddening! Really yeah, but it's the only place we can find the lily pads Papa Smurf needs. No, Hefty. Papa Smurf needs the fungus on the lily pads. Fungus is an essential ingredient in his formulas. Disgusting, but essential. Shh. We don't want Gargamel to hear us. Oh, it's getting dark, Hefty, and we don't have enough fungus yet. Don't worry, Smurfette. We have a full moon tonight. Look, Azriel, look! The full moon and still no fish scales for my potion! How can I find anything in this tiny place? What I need is a bigger home, a sumptuous home, something that befits my collection of books and spells, something that... That's it, Azriel! The Great Book of Spells! <coughs> yes, Azriel, tonight the Great Book of Spells must grant my wishes. Now, where's that trap door? I know it's under here somewhere. Yeah! Hmm. My new home will have trap doors that stay locked. Ah, there you are, my great book of spells. Oh, great book of spells, upon whose pages dwell secrets no one tells. Awake for Gargamel! <laughs> Oh, I'm uh, sorry, oh great book, but it is the final phase of the full moon, and I'm entitled to a day's wishes. Very well, mundane magician. What is it now that you require? A bigger home. A huge home, actually. One befitting a man of my not inconsiderable status. A man of my achievements needs more space, more room to conduct my experiments, more room for my equipment, more... <laughs> Yes, even more room for my cat. Heed me well, oh social climbing wizard. First, draw this diamond in the dust. Oh, right, right, a uh, diamond in the dust. Munch on bread with moldy crust. Oh, right, uh, munch on bread with moldy crust. Yeah. Stand on your elbows perfectly still. To get your dream house, repeat if you will. Second mortgage, big foreclosure, low down payment, high ambrosia. Second mortgage, big foreclosure, low down payment, high ambrosia. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now, shall we see our new house, Azriel? <laughs> Oh, I can hardly wait, hardly wait! Yeah, but it looks the same. It looks the same! Look again, you doubting dimwit! Oh, oh uh, uh, well, it, it certainly is bigger, but, but it's just the same. Exactly the same! Well, you didn't give me any blueprint, so hapless human. <laughs> Why can't you help, you worthless cat? I'm going to have a few words with that book. We've smurfed enough fungus. Let's smurf back to the... Oh, look out! Smurfed him right, me nasty cat. I was foolish to ask a book for a house. What do books know about houses anyway? I know. I'll buy the house of my dreams. And where will you get the money, oh impoverished imbecile? Simple. All I need are six Smurfs to turn base metal into gold. I'll be rich if you can just conjure me up a big Smurf catcher. First, tear up your wizard hat. Tear up my wizard hat? 
But I've had it since graduation. Tear up the hat. Uh, right, uh, tear up the hat. Then do a waltz with a slime-covered cat. Where will I find a slime-covered... Yeah! That book had better conjure up one wily smurf catcher to make up for all this. Behold, old demanding dum-dum, your smurf catcher. Where? 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 <laughs> It's an invisible smurf catcher. Invisible? I ruined a perfectly good wizard's hat for an invisible smurf catcher? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, you call it ridiculous. Oh, 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 nice seeing, uh, uh, not seeing you, Mr. Smurf catcher. My plan is so simple, it's brilliant. Are you with me, Mr. Smurf catcher? I am here, wizard. When we find the wretched little creatures, I'll stampede them right toward you and into this net. Got it? Got it. That's it, my little Smurfs. We need lots of mica chips for Handy's mirrors. Perfect. Six little Smurfs and only one way out. Smurf catcher, wait down there with a the net. I hear you. This will drive those little wretches right into the arms of my Smurf catcher. <laughs> oh, no! Smurf for your life! It's working, Azriel. It's working perfectly. Huh. What's that, Pop Smurf? I don't know, Clumsy, but it Smurfs like trouble. Oh, what do we do, Pop Jump, my little Smurfs, jump! <laughs> Got away! Trusses! The Smurf catcher let those vile blue creatures escape! And you have the nerve to call yourself a Smurf catcher! You throw a rock at Smurf catcher? Now Smurf catcher throws rock at you! No, 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 no! Let, let's not get hasty! Uh, put it down! I command you to. That Smurf catcher was supposed to be invisible. He was, Lummox, but your net wasn't. Oh, great book. I, I, I don't want, I don't need, I never desired any invisible Smurf catcher. Well, just what is it you do desire, master? Uh, 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 something more subtle, more sophisticated. Uh, uh, something that can blend in with its surroundings in such a way that no Smurf will ever see it. So be it, so soggy sorcerer. Heed me well. In the dirt, design a square. Then perform a tap dance there. Uh, a tap dance? Dance upon a wooden pail. Oh, this isn't easy, you know. Don't be angry if you fail. All this for a bucket of water? No, all this for a water chameleon. He blends in perfectly. Uh, so I notice. Put me down, chameleon. <laughs> oh, a picnic by the river is so smurfy on a hot day. Oh, the water is so cool. <gasps> Gosh! <laughs> Isn't that Gargamel? Pay him no mind, my little Smurfs. He can do us no harm at such a distance. Those sickeningly happy Smurfs think they're safe from me, do they? <laughs> Let's see how safe they are when my water chameleon strikes. <laughs> uh, come on in, Brady. Why bother? Thanks to you, Clumsy, I'm already so. Oh, gosh! Sorry, Brainy. It was only an accident. Oh, I can't stand it. I'm even more handsome when I'm wet. <laughs> Two down and four to go. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Hey! Time for one more swim before yonder sun's upset. Stay out of the deep end, poet. Hi, Brainy. Going in? I... <laughs> One more Smurf, and I'll have enough to make gold! Oh, help! 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 Hang on, Smurfette! Let her go, Water Demon! Let her go! Look out, Bubba Smurf! 
That's it. That's it. I only need one more. Either Smurf will do. Smurf, you distance. Oh, Baba Smurf, it's gone. You're not afraid of a little fire, are you? Go back. Go back. No, no, no. They're mine. Oh, thank goodness you're back, my little Smurfs. Oh, Papa Smurf, what an incredible experience. Put me down. Was... Put me down. I command you. Put me Ooh, this is terrible. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight fire with fire. And so, I demand a creature not afraid of fire. This day is done, you silly pest. I'll not accept one more request. For now, it is my time to rest. Oh, cranky old book. I don't need you anyway. I know a creature who's not afraid of fire. One made of fire. And I'm perfectly capable of conjuring it up myself. Listen to what I require. Conjure up a ball of fire. No, 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 not a wall of fire. A ball of fire. Ah, my house, my house. I've done it, Azriel. I've done it. I've saved our home. Our good old home. Be it ever so cluttered, Azriel, there's no place like home. <laughs> oh, dear. I always get sick this time of year. If only Papa Spurf hadn't gone away to take care of no cure. <laughs> he he could have made me some medicine. I'm much sicker than Melchior. <laughs> of course, Papa Smurf thinks there's nothing wrong with me. It's all in your mind. <laughs> that silver tongued rogue, Dr. Charlton, promised his miracle tonic would cure our ailments. But it only made them worse. <laughs> Well, on the contrary, my fun-loving friends, never have I seen such a radiant portrait of health. Rubbish! You're nothing but a swindler! A crook! A quack! My friends, you really should be home in bed. Yeah, rest is what you need. <sighs> Lucky for me, they were sick. They might have caught me. <sighs> well, as I always say, a stay in the country gives a, a new lease on life. Sunshine, fresh air, all I need now are some new customers. Oh, if it's not my head, it's my tummy. If it's not my tummy, it's my rheumatism. What on earth? Perhaps this creature is listed in my physician's almanac. If it isn't my rheumatism, it's my sacrosmurphiliac. Oh. Hmm, Smurfs. Legendary creatures said to live in the forest. Tis told that the blue from the skin of the Smurfs cures every human illness. Great leaping leeches. Now I can make a real miracle tonic. <laughs> I'll be rich. Bless <laughs> you, little Smurf. <laughs> Allow me, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who, who are you? I am Dr. Charlatan, physician extraordinaire. I have PhDs, ABCs, LMNOPs. Uh, I am sickly Smurf. Sicky extraordinaire. I have shaky knees, a miserable wheeze, and a terrible sneeze. <laughs> yes, I can see right away that you needed expert attention. Allow me to examine you. Uh-huh. Now put out your tongue. Oh. Oh, my. Gosh, it's worse than I thought, isn't it, Doc? My poor fellow, you have a severe case of Smurfalwerfalitis. Smurfalwerfalitis? Oh, no! Uh, what is Smurfalwerfalitis? What is Smurfalwerfalitis, you ask? Well, it's very complicated, but if untreated, it leads to... You mean? I'm afraid so. Fortunately, there is one cure. Dr. Charlatan's Miracle Tonic. 
Yeah, just rub a little on the tip of your blue nose. Uh, like this? Exactly. Voila! Your Smurf Orphalitis is a thing of the past. It is? <laughs> Already? Why, your picture of health. A veritable portrait of vitality. I am? Gee! You're completely, positively, and permanently cured. I am. <sighs> I guess I am. I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured. It's a miracle. Oh, thank you, thank you, Dr. Charlatan. Is there anything I can smurf to repay you? No, no. My only motive is better health for the multitude. That's very smurfy. Well, goodbye. Oh, wait till Papa Smurf hears. Uh, perhaps you know of a multitude whose health could benefit from my miracle tonic. How many does it take to smurf a multitude? Uh, there are a hundred smurfs in the village. That's the perfect number, my friend. Lead the way. Hi, everybody. Guess what? Oh, I'm cured. Who's he? What's he doing here? Papa Smurf isn't going to like this. Don't worry, fellow Smurfs. Dr. Charlatan is a bona fide doctor. He even cured my smurf of worth That's right, friends. Gather round, gather round. As you see, I wear my credentials proudly. He seems well qualified anyway. Yes, my friends, it's true. If you got a case of the blues, I can put you in the pink. Or in your case, vice versa. <laughs> put you in the pink of the blue, you did. <clears throat> But seriously, Smurfs, my miracle tonic cures everything, from bunions to blues, the holes in your shoes. Why, one drop will make you think straighter, drink sweeter, and it even keeps the bugs away. <laughs> Sounds too oh. good to be true. Well, try it. What have you got to lose? Yeah. Dear, I wish that was Smurf were here. I don't like this at all. So you see, my good Smurfs, there's absolutely, positively nothing that my miracle tonic cannot do. And you do something for me crops. Ever hear of Jack and the Beanstalk? One of my first customers. Lead the way. Mmm. Uh, tell me, Dr. Charlatan, what's the bird? Your melons desperately need a good blast of my Miracle Tonic. It'll make your crops shoot up like skyrockets. By golly, where can I get this Miracle Tonic? Just come to my camp, and for a small fee, uh, say, 50 melons, I'll make you the greatest farmer who ever split a pea or spilled a bean. I agree. Dr. Charlotteman, do you have anything to make my goodies taste smurfier? <laughs> Why, of course. Lead me to your kitchen. Farmer Smurf. Why in Smurfation do you trust that nasty old quack? Well, you see, Smurfette, any doctor with that many diplomas ought to know what he's snuffing. Oh, if Papa Smurf doesn't get back soon, Charlotte and me own the whole village. Uh-huh. Well, I can tell you're the Smurf de la Smurf of gourmet cooks. But you're badly in need of my miracle tonic. It makes bad food good and good food better. Can I get some before supper time? Certainly, for a small fee. Say, uh... A cake about so high, I'll whip you up a batch of Miracle Tonic to go. Uh, can your tonic make me stronger? I don't suppose your tonic could improve my looks. I mean, I realize it's practically impossible, but... What about helping me get more sleep? No problem, no problem. I have Miracle Tonic for everyone. Just meet me at my camp before the sun goes down. Oh, and uh, don't forget, bring the fee. Oh, boy! Me first! Hey, oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait. And what may I do for you, my little blue bonbon? The same thing you're doing for everyone else. Absolutely smurfly nothing. Nothing? Hmm. That's what she and all the Smurfs will become when I make my medical Smurf extract tonic. <laughs> I hope this is big enough for Dr. Charlatan. Oh, dear. Wait. Wait, everyone. Wait. You're Smurfing a big mistake. Uh. I've got a funny feeling about this whole thing. Maybe you should smurf some of Dr. Charlatan's miracle tonic for it, Smurfette. Ow! Ah, uh, Dr. Charlatan, I believe this time you've struck gold. Blue gold, that is. <laughs> Dr. Charlatan! Over here, my Smurfy friends. We brought our fees, just like you said. Excellent, excellent. Uh, just stack everything right here. And I'll be back with your Miracle Tonics just as soon as I've added the secret ingredient. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't believe this. Ta-da! Now step right up one at a time. Oh. 
Smurfy before. Thanks to Dr. Charlton. Here, Smurfette, you can smurf the difference with one bite. Mm. Uh, it's very good, Greedy, but it tastes exactly like your last batch of cupcakes. Nonsense, Smurfette. Who else wants to try them? I do. Hi, Smurfette. Thanks to Dr. Charlton's miracle tonic, I just smurfed the whole log in two with my bare hands. Mm. Smurfette, listen to this. Mm -hmm. Uh, always look before you leave. Uh, uh, a watch smurf never boils, and, uh, never look a gift smurf in the mouth. Isn't that amazing? Rainy, you've been saying those same things since the day you were born. Oh, no. I could never have smurfed them without Dr. Charlotte's tonic. I'll take another bottle. Me too, Dr. Charlotte. Coming right up. Oh, thank you, Doctor. How can we ever repay you? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Brainy. There are plenty of ways to repay me. <sighs> Gardening certainly works up an appetite. I know. I'll ask Greedy for one of those Smurf berry tarts he was baking this morning. Sorry, Smurfette. These are for Dr. Charlatan. Try Farmer. Maybe he can Smurf up something for you. That's all you have left? One melon? Well, you see, Smurfette, I have to trade this season's crops for more of that miracle tonic. The new improved crop should be sprouting any day. But in the meantime, why don't you smurf yourself some berries from the forest? Oh, all right. Hello, Handy. May I borrow your berry pail? Sorry, I traded everything for super economy-sized bottles of Miracle Tonic. But... Excuse me, I have to get back to work on a machine I'm smurfing for Dr. Charlatan. This is the last straw. I'm going to smurf that old quack a piece of my mind. Ah, what a life. No wonder Mother wanted me to study medicine. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Me? You've cheated the Smurfs out of everything they own. But my dear little Bluebell... Don't I... you Bluebell me, you, you! Ah, sickly, thank you. I'll be right back with your bottle of Miracle Tonic. Sickly, there's no such thing as a miracle cure. Dr. Charlotte is a fraud. That's not true. I was always sick and weak before, but just smurf at me now. You aren't one bit healthier than you were. You only think you are. Nonsense, Smurfette. I'm so strong and healthy, I can... Uh, uh, why, uh, I can even outrun Azriel. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. And I'll prove it. Ah, oh, here you are, Sickly. Sickly? Now you've done it. Sickly! <laughs> You can't outrun Azriel! You never could! You'll see! I'll prove Dr. Charlatan isn't a fraud! Come back, Sickly! Come back! Come back! I can't thank you enough for nursing me back to health, Papa Smurf. You're welcome, Melchior, old friend. But you should have called for me much sooner. I would have, Papa Smurf, but an imp by the name of Dr. Charlatan sold me this so-called miracle tonic. For a while, I actually thought it was working. It's amazing how believing in something can almost make it so. Exactly. That imp is nothing but a quack, Papa Smurf. You should warn your Smurfs to beware of him. I will, Melchior. Goodbye. Farewell, my friend. I'm all out of Miracle Tonic. Me too. Well, have no fear. There's plenty more. Yes, but uh, we don't have anything left to uh, Smurf the fee with. Uh-huh. Well, I'll see what I can do. Dr. Charlatan is nothing if not fair. <laughs> I'll be right back. Maybe he'll let us pay later. Oh, I'm positive Dr. Charlotte will never let us down. <sighs> I think my sojourn in the lap of Smurf luxury is just about over. And now it's time to get down to...
the business. Namely, making the miracle Smurf extract tonic that will make me a very rich imp. <clears throat> I have decided that since you Smurfs are such good customers, I'll allow each of you to help yourself to one free refill. Yay! Now, one Smurf at a time. Let's see. Hefty, I believe you were first in line. Just step right up, Hefty, and dip in. I don't see anything in here. No? Well, now there is. <laughs> Next, uh, Brainy, wasn't it? Oh, this rheumatism will drive me mad. Always in the same places. My left foot, oh, my right knee, my left shoulder, oh, the small of my back, oh, and right back to my left foot. Oh. Now, who the devil can that be? Sickly, don't do it! You who has real? He must be out of his little blue mind, Azriel. Harvested his crops already? Greedy? No one home? No food around either. Very unlike Greedy indeed. Hello? Is anybody home? Oh, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Thank goodness you're back! Smurf head! Papa Smurf! Gargamel's captured Sickly, all because Sickly believed that Dr. Charlatan's tonic really worked! Dr. Charlatan? That imp is a fraud and a swindler. I know, Papa Smurf. I tried to warn the others, but they keep smurfing back for more miracle tonic. Quick, we must find them and try to rescue Sickly. Sorry to keep you waiting, Harmony. That's all right, Dr. Charlatan. He who smurfs last, smurfs best. I really want to thank you, Dr. Charlatan, for... Whoa! No, no. Let me thank you for being so stupid. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps I'd better give this old ringer a trial run before I start ringing them. <laughs> yes, this'll do fine. Perfect! I'd rather be the ringer than the ring E. This is a painful decision, Smurfette. We can't save 97 Smurfs while we're trying to rescue Sickly. Unless, perhaps... Yes, Papa Smurf? Perhaps you can distract Gargamel long enough to give me time. Now, where is that recipe? Smurf pudding, Smurf stew, Smurf souffle. Ah, here it is. Cup of Smurf. It's perfect when you have one Smurf for dinner. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, 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 drat this rheumatism. Yoo-hoo, Gargamel, bet you can't catch me. Smurfette, run, get away. Yeah! Smurfette! Yeah! Oh, my rheumatism. Miss me! Why, you... <laughs> Quick, sickly, run! Oh! So glad you dropped in, you little blue fools. Now we'll have not one, but two for dinner, Asriel. <laughs> Ouch! Ah, greedy! There should be plenty of blue in your hide. Great Smurf man, are you out of your mind? Don't you know what you can catch from repeated exposure to Smurfs? Huh? Uh, uh, what? Smurfonia. Smurfonia? Oh, no! Oh, yes. In fact, I can already see symptoms in you. Me? No, no, I, I feel fine, I think. You look pale and weak. You're shaking all over. I am? Yes. You'd better sit down and let me take a look. Say ah. Ah. Hmm. Now, does it hurt here? Where? Here. Ouch! Yes! Worst case I've ever seen. Oh, no. I wish I'd never seen a Smurf. I'm doomed. Luckily, I have the only cure known to medical science. For a small fee, say, a thousand gold pieces. A thousand? But, but uh, I only have 50 coppers. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Well, rest in peace. Wait, is there some other way I can pay your fee? Well, 
There is one thing you could do for me. Ah, I think the oven's hot enough now, don't you, Azriel? <laughs> Who is it? Dr. Charlatan's the name. Forgive the interruption, but uh, I felt it my duty to warn you there's an epidemic of sorceritis going around in this vicinity. Have you noticed any symptoms? Sorceritis? Who, me? Why, no, there's nothing. Ow, 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 just a bit of rheumatism. Aha! That's the first symptom. I'd better examine you. Actually, you have nothing but symptoms. The worst case of sorceritis I've ever seen. Oh, no! Oh, yes. But don't despair. There is a cure. Dr. Charlatan's Miracle Tonic. Uh, for a nominal fee. Fee? Well, of course, of course, a fee. <laughs> How about a vial of bat's breath? Uh, warthog's toenails? Uh, one slightly worn but lovable cat? No, 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 thank you. I see you're interested in Smurfs. Uh, I'll let you have one in exchange for your miracle cure. Smurfs? What use have I for Smurfs? Oh, why, Smurfs are delicious. Or, or you can use them as bookends, or, or fish bait, or, or cat toys. Oh, yes, 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 Smurfs have many uses. Uh, you can have both of them. I'll even throw in the cauldron. Done. Here you are. Gargle with this twice a day, Gargamel. Hey! All right, I've kept my end of the bargain. Now, where's my cure? There. Rub that on your head, and your Smurfonia will be a thing of the past. Ah, I feel better already. Well, I, I must be going. Goodbye, charlatan. And good riddance. By the way, my good Smurf, can I interest you in my Miracle Gray Away Tonic for your hair? Or my Miracle Wrinkle Remover? Neither of them works, of course. What am I saying? The truth. Thanks to my Miracle Tonic, you'll never be able to lie again. The truth? Uh, but I'll be ruined. Not if you hope to become a real doctor. <laughs> Why so gloomy, my little Smurfs? Papa Smurf, I was much stronger when I thought the Miracle Tonic worked. Not so, Hefty. You only made yourself believe you were stronger. You see, Hefty, it's all a matter of mind over medicine. Then I'm just as sick as I was before. In fact, I think I feel a cold coming on. <laughs> that felt wonderful. I think it's working, Azriel. No more pain in my left foot, or my right knee, or my left shoulder, or the small of my back. Oh, 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 now the pain's in my right foot. Oh, 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 oh. and my left knee. Oh, oh, that fraudulent quack, that swindling charlatan. Oh, 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 my right shoulder. Oh, oh, I'll get him if it's the last thing I do. Oh, 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 my upper back, my right foot. Oh, oh, you just stand there, Andrea, call a You see, fishes can get their oxygen from the water, but Smurfs have to get it from the air. Now, look at this blueprint. There it goes again. Feels like a big old fish. Brainy says it's a heavy boulder. <laughs> Brainy's boulder just ate your blueprint. Must be a rock fish. <laughs> of picking up all this junk. I don't know what's the matter with those humans. Clutter, clutter, clutter. <sighs> oh, come on, Aquarius. You must be getting old. <sighs> it can't be that heavy. <clears throat> oh, 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 no. M Morena. Daddy? <sighs> Hurry, Morena. Daddy, what is it? <clears throat> Just a little indigestion. Probably some green kelp I ate for lunch. Oh. Now, just relax, Daddy. Ajax and Hercules will take you home. I'll go get some lily root. Lily root? Oh, n no, Morena, you, you mustn't go near the Pool of Avalon. It's an awful place. Daddy, I should have gone a long time ago. But it, it's way up the River Smurf, and there's a mean custodian guarding the pool. I'll be careful, Daddy. You just rest. I'll be home with your medicine in a few days. Morena, please, don't go.
Remember, Smurfs, Andy's life is in your hands. If you don't Smurf the air pump, he can't breathe underwater. Is that clear? How do I Smurf this thing? Just Smurf down on him. No! no! Not now! Clumsy, when I said Smurf down on it, I didn't mean now. Are you all right, Andy? I'm doing fine. <laughs> well, my little Smurfs, I guess we're ready for a practice dive. So when Handy wants to surface, he'll smurf once on the line. And if he wants more air, he'll smurf twice. One smurf means up. Don't worry about it, Clumsy. Just do what I do. Ready, Papa Smurf? Remember, I'll smurf off the rhythm for you. Ready, Handy? It's a big boulder. Now, Handy, you be careful down there. very long out of water. Ha, ah, here it is, the Pool of Avalon, a source of magical healing herbs, guarded by a very mean custodian. Oh, my head. She's coming, too. Where, where am I? In the Smurf village with friends. Friends? You're not my friends. Calm down. We only want to help you. We pulled you out of the river, remember? <gasps> the river. I must get back to the river. <gasps> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Quietly now, give her some room. Relax, little mermaid. We only want to help you. I'm Papa Smurf. I'm Smurfette. Uh, I'm Handy, ma'am. My name is Marina. My home is in Atlantica, under the ocean, far away. Marina. Oh, that's a beautiful name. What's that? Handy built it for you. It's a Smurferator. It smurfilates air through the water. All fish, well, I mean, uh, uh, mermaids, anyway, need to... <gasps> How thoughtful of you. Marina, why were you swimming so far from home? Oh, my father Aquarius is sick, and he may die if I don't bring him some lily root from the Pool of Avalon. I may be too late. Oh, please don't cry. Papa Smurf, can't we do something? Harmony, have all the Smurfs assemble at the Great Oak, right now. 
Smurfette, I want your group to go to the Pool of Avalon and slurf up all the lily root you can find. I hate lily root! And remember, the pool is guarded by a mean custodian, so smurf your eyes open. Lazy, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, ready when you are, Smurfette. Now the sea rescue team. Dreamy, of course, is captain. Yay! And he is the diver. Yay! And the navigator is Brainy. Boo! Well, how do you like that? Absolutely smurfly beautiful. Oh, terrific. A mutinous crew and a lovesick diver. What a smurfy rescue team this is. Don't worry, Marina. Your father will soon be smurfy again. Uh, Handy, you're going to miss the boat. That Handy is so lovable. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Yo, heave ho! Smurf it up, mates! How come we do all the <coughs> heaving and you do all the yo hoing? You don't like yo hoing? It drives me smurfy! Hmm, me too, but some smurf has to do it. So, you two heave and I'll yo ho. Now, yo heave ho! Sure, Smurfette should be there with your medicine. Tell her, beware the mean custodian. I should have gone with Smurfette. I'd rather Smurf my chances with ten mean custodians than with one love sick diver. Ah, oh, this must be the pool of Avalon. Papa Smurf says that all these Smurfy blossoms have magical healing powers. Come on, team, let's wait in. I hate waiting. Well, as long as we're waiting, I think I'll take a nap. There they are, the lilies. Oh, I have the lily root. Oh, no, you don't. I told you, I hate lily root. It's the custodian. Let's smurf out of here. Well, <clears throat> I guess we'll be going. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, we will. Just wait till you try. We're stuck! <laughs> All right, you mean old custodian. What do you want from us? Your gold or your lives. <laughs> well, I said your gold or your lives. What'll it be? Surely you travelers have one small bag of gold. You wouldn't dare leave home without one. Uh, well, you see, where we come from, we have no need for gold. <laughs> But where you've come to, my pretty, you do. It's turned to quicksand. Quicksand? I hate quicksand! Just when I thought I, I'd never see my little girl again, along came that brave blue creature. And like the answer to my prayers, here you are in my arms. Candy. Welcome to our humble village, Aquarius. I am honored and eternally in your debt, sir. <laughs> Hefty, clumsy, take Aquarius to my house. He needs to rest after such a long journey. Papa Smurf is right, Father. You rest, and soon your lily root will be here. Handy, 
I don't want to alarm our guests, but Smurfit's team has been gone an awfully long time and... Oh, no! Aquarius needs that lily root, and maybe that mean custodian guarding the pool. Shh! Remember, Aquarius is not well. We mustn't upset him. I'll take my crew and find Smurfit. Thank you, Handy. You little monster! This is cruel and unsmurfy punishment for picking just a few silly lily roots! Silly lilies? Oh, 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 they have the power to save lives if you buy them, or take lives if you steal them. And you call them silly? I think a better word for them would be expensive. Did you see those Smurfy boots? Now, Smurf attention, Smurfs. I've got a plan. Any last request? <laughs> yes, don't make waves. Hey, here's the magic pool. Over here, Handy. Lily roots. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Happy, where are you? Up in the kickapoo tree. The kickapoo tree. <laughs> My magic boots. You tricked me. You tricked me. Hurry, Handy. They're up to their noses. Are you all right? <laughs> Handy, pull them out of the quicksand. Yay! No, no, that's not fair. <sighs> the medicine. I hate medicine. You should be ashamed of your smirk. There are lots of things in life worth more than gold. Yeah, well, name one. Health, happiness, and love. And Breedy's cookies. Cookies? What kind of cookies? Smurfberry cookies. Smurfberry cookies, my favorite. Now, let's talk about lily roots. Anything, all my lily roots. I really need a smurfberry cookie. <laughs> we really need lily roots. Now, promise you'll never smurf like that again. I promise. I promise. I think we just made a very smurfy deal. Turn the custodian loose. Oh, yum, yum, yum. My little smurfs, this is a very smurfy occasion we celebrate tonight. Hear, hear. Our newly smurf friends from under the sea are alive and smurfy. Hey! Our two brave teams of volunteers are back home, safe and sound. Hooray! Huzzah! And I am smurfily proud of each and every one of them. However, I am particularly proud of one gallant smurf. His daring, his courage were above and beyond the smurf of duty. He will go down in the book of smurf as a hero who risked his life to save the lives of others. Uh -huh. Of course, you know I'm smurfing about our smurf of honor, Handy! Hey! 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 Go! Marina, this is the smurfiest night of my whole life. I'll never forget this evening, or you, dear Handy. Did you know that when a mermaid blows a flower on the water, she'll return to that very spot one day? Are you trying to tell me that... You'll be smurfing home soon? Well, now that Father is healthy... Oh, Handy, if only there was some way you could come with me under the sea. Marina, there may be a way. Really? We'll find out tomorrow. Ah, what a bittersweet moment this must be for those youngsters. It doesn't seem fair. I know, Smurfit, but at least they've had one shining hour. That's more than some folks have in a lifetime. <laughs> it's so sad. I knew you'd think of a way. That's one of those, what did you call it? Smurferator. Now I don't need a hose to smurf air. Well, <laughs> here goes. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Handy. How do you like it? It's smurfy. Oh, I gotta get the hang of this thing. You're doing just fine, Handy. Marina, wait for me. <laughs> I'd wait for you forever. Marina! Help! It's a smurf eating clam. Oh, my poor dear Handy. Oh. I can't open it. Go get Happy. He's strong enough. I'll hurry, Handy. Keep on smurferating. <laughs> Gosh, look at him, right? 
She swims just like a fish. Well, to be perfectly correct, she is mostly fishy, and the rest of her is, well, no matter what Handy may think, definitely not Smurfy. But they're in love. <laughs> so what difference does it, Smurf? What is it Papa Smurf says? East is east, and west is west, and never the twain shall Smurf. Twain? What's a twain? Well, it's a sort of a kind of a... a... Help! Get Hefty! Handy's in trouble! Hefty? Why Hefty? Happy! Happy! Smurf here! Hurry! Never fear. Brainy is here. <laughs> I just remembered I can't swim. Happy! Happy! Marina, where is Handy? Follow me. Excuse me. He could have drowned out there. Handy, you know it's one thing to be brave, but it's another thing to be foolhardy. Maybe Marina can learn to stay on land. It's just a matter of getting used to the water. And staying away from smurf-eating clams. <laughs> now remember that tomorrow. Tomorrow? But, Daddy, I love him. Uh, of course you do. But if you really love him, you'll let him go. Let's face facts. A smurf in the sea is like a fish out of water. I know. Oh, Daddy, what in the name of Neptune should I do? I, I think you know the answer. I'm swimming back home tomorrow, and I don't believe I'll be swimming alone. I'll tell him tonight. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, what a beautiful view. Ooh. P.S. On a clear day, you can see the ocean. Uh, speaking of the ocean, Handy. Oh, you know, maybe if I added flippers and a tail to my diving suit. Handy, stop. The diving suit isn't the answer. I'll smurf up something better. Maybe a smurfungus bubble, and we can... Oh, Handy, when I look at your strong, handsome face in the moonlight, I... Quickly! Farewell, my love. Handy. She's better off where she's going. Oh, Handy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't cry, Smurfette. She's smurfing home to Atlantica. Remember this, Handy. It is better to have smurfed and lost than never to have smurfed at all. Oh, you fool! 
foolish, foolish thing. No, love does not conquer all. Oh, crystal, crystal, will I ever see the things I need to set me free? Only hours left. Is this ugly face my destiny? <gasps> Could it be? After all these years of searching beyond the boundaries of time and space, at last, at last, stop, stop, I say, stop this race. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, only 99 Smurfs? Two of my little Smurfs are missing. Oh, missing? Gargamel must have them. Not one Smurf, and it's all your fault, you stupid cat. No dinner for you tonight. 98, 99, no doubt about it. I took another count too, Papa Smurf. Shoki and Crouchy are definitely missing. Gargamel must have smurfed them when they were in the forest. Hefty, brainy, vanity, smurf it. Follow me to Gargamel's. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. The rest of you will watch over baby Smurf. Yes, Papa, Papa Smurf. Cats are a nuisance. You hear, Azriel? You're a nuisance, nuisance, nuisance. Azriel? Now where did you go? Azriel! Azriel! Oh, stupid cat. Now be very careful, my little Smurfs, and very, very quiet. Yes, Papa Smurf. Hefty and Smurfette, have a look in the cellar, and beware of Azriel. You two, come with me. Oh, it's dark in here, Hefty. Do you see anything? No, nothing. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> They're not here. Then let's go. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Did you smurf anything? Only a rat, Papa Smurf. And he hasn't seen a thing. Hmm, that's odd. All right, quickly now. Let's smurf out of here before Asriel shows up. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm sorry, my little Smurfs. Jokey and Crouchy are nowhere to be found. Oh, gosh, Papa Smurf. If they aren't at Gargamel's, where can they be? I don't know, Clumsy. I don't know. Papa Smurf doesn't know. What could have happened? We checked every trail. Gargamel must have them. Papa Smurf said that Gargamel doesn't have them, and if Papa Smurf said so, then Gargamel doesn't have them, because Papa Smurf is always greedy. Oh, sorry, Papa Smurf. All right. Every Smurf gets some sleep. We'll continue searching tomorrow. Oh, poor Jokey. Poor, poor Grouchy. What could have happened? Where can they be? Oh, where can they be? Beyond the boundaries of time and space, my voice has gone to stop this race. Leave where you are. Come to this place. Now come to me. Come face to face. Ah, just in time for supper. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Azriel? 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 Azriel, I have your favorite for supper. Good night, Smurfhead. Good night, Hefty. Good night, Rainy. Good night, Papa Smurf. Good night, Jokey and Grouchy, wherever you are. At last, at last, to think what I have been searching for, lo, these many years, is finally in my grasp. I hate grasp! <laughs> if I could think life was such a joke, I'd cry! And then we came this way. Uh, yes, yes, I'm sure it was this way. Uh, Azriel! Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come to Gargamel. And then we came this way, Papa Smurf. Jokey! Grouchy! And now this way. Uh, Azriel! Come to Gargamel. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And I tripped on a rock right here, Papa Smurf. Jokey! Crouchy! Crouchy! Jokey! Azriel! Gargamel! Papa Smurf! What have you done with my cat, you disgusting blue pests? What have you done with my two Smurfs, Gargamel? What two Smurfs? You know very well what two Smurfs. If I had two Smurfs, I'd eat them. It would be your last meal, Gargamel. You tell him, Papa Smurf! You tell him! I'm right behind you! If you don't tell me what you've done with my cat, I'll have you all for supper! Take one more step, Gargamel, and you'll regret it! Don't make me laugh, you puny little blue runt! Be ready to run! Yes, yes Papa Smurf! Smurf. 
That's far enough, Gargamel. Come no closer. I'll ask you again, Papa Smurf. Where is my cat? <laughs> oh, Chlorhydris, soon I shall be free of your curse. After all these years, to think I finally have the things I need to set me free. Ah, yes, here it is, here it is. Three whiskers from a yellow cat and the tear of a smurf. Oh, fortune has smiled upon me this day. I only need three whiskers and I have dozens. I only need one smurf and I have two. Freedom will soon be mine. Soon, soon, do you hear? <laughs> now, which of you will be the first to cry for me? <laughs> me? Cry? Don't make me laugh. I hate laughing. Cry you must, and cry you will. Uh, but first, the cat. Easy, my yellow one. Easy now. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, yellow cat. Sorry. And now, for that tear. It saddens me to make you cry, but I have no choice. It saddens me to tell you this, my little Smurfs, but I have no choice. We must face the possibility that Jokey and Grouchy are never coming back. Papa Smurf, say it isn't so. Please, say it isn't so. Oh, Smurfette, we have looked everywhere, and Jokey and Grouchy are gone. Gone, gone, gone. Are you never coming back to me? I cannot force you to cry. I can only hope that my sad tale will move you to the tear that I so desperately need. Well, my name is Priscilla. My father is dead. My mother is a sick woman. She wants nothing less than a world without love. Oh! My father was the first victim. I hate victims! Ah, Priscilla, what a joy you are. I shall not be gone long, my sweet love. Be a good girl, and remember how much I love you. I never saw my father again. My childhood was not a pleasant one. My toys would break. I never had any pets. There was no love in our home, and I was very lonely. This is the last one, Papa Smurf. Gosh, Painter, this is the best painting you've ever done. Looks like he can step right out of it. I wish he could, Clumsy. I miss him. I would ever miss that fool cat. Asriel? Asriel? Go away! I can't believe they're gone. I can't believe it. Well, one day a handsome young prince arrived, and we fell in love. I don't know why my mother hated him so. I never understood her. Ah, Priscilla, my love, what a joy you are. I shall not be gone long, my sweet love. And when I return, we shall be married. And remember how much I love you. Goodbye, darling. I'll miss you. I never saw my prince again. There you go, Asriel. Get him, get him. Get him, you fool cat. Asriel, Asriel, is that you? Oh. And then, so that no one would ever love me, she turned me into the hag you see before you. Oh, the many years I've spent suffering the mockery of the peasants. Wobbly, wobbly, there goes ugly. Wobbly, wobbly, there goes ugly. Wobbly, wobbly, there goes ugly. Alas, your eyes are dry. I see my tail has not moved you to tears. I hate tears. I never cry. <laughs> That's why they call me Jokey. You ought to have Smurfette here. She cry for you. My time is running out. And without a tear, I'll stay like this forever. Well, um, can we go home? Yes. Oh, I am sorry, Yellow Cat. If I could give you back your three whiskers, I would. And as the river Smurf flows, so the river of life flows into the endless sea. And as every loving Smurf knows, the memory of loving grows and grows, and they shall always be. I hate this. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> I, I forgive you, Mother. Oh. Now can we go home? 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 Now
we go home? 97, 98, 99, 100, and 1! Yay! I don't know why I bother even feeding you, you worthless stupid cat. I'd be better off without you. <laughs> Just love nuts. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Here's this special nut just for you, Grady. Gee, thanks. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Very funny. What was that? I don't know. E flat? It sounded like a horn. <gasps> humans! Hmm, that's odd. What would humans be doing in this part of the forest? Baby! Hey! Help! Yes! Yow! Oh, Papa Smurf, what a mess! Did you see the size of that snake? <laughs> yeah. We've got him now, lads! Follow me! <laughs> Is every Smurf all right? Papa Smurf, why are those humans chasing that beautiful stag? I'm afraid they mean to kill it, Smurfette. Kill it? But why? Yeah, why? They are hunters. Oh, those horrible humans! Just who do they think they are? Well, one of them was King Gerard's second cousin, Malcolm the Mean. He is the greatest hunter in all the realm. Oh, that poor deer! We've got to save it, Papa Smurf. But how? I've got an idea. Smurf me up into the tree, Hefty. What are you going to do, Harmony? You'll see. <laughs> what? That cunning buck doubled back, but he'll never get away. Yeah, yeah. It worked! Hey! The deer is safe! Smurfette! Look out! Hey! Wow! Huh? Faster, you fools! Faster! He mustn't escape! Are you all right, Smurfette? I'm all right. But what happened to Harmony? Uh, there he goes! <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Great Smurfs, he's gone! Poor Harmony! What'll we do now, Papa Smurf? We must follow Harmony and rescue him before he's discovered. I'll go! Me too! Yeah, it sounds like fun! It may well be very dangerous. The rest of you gather up these nuts and return to the village immediately. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf! We'll be back as soon as possible. Yeah! Yeah! Goodbye! Be careful! Oh, poor Harmony! I hope they can find him, baby. That's no use. These stupid dogs you trained have lost the scent. We'll have to return to the castle and try again tomorrow. Come! Yes, Sir Malcolm. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I tell you, there is absolutely nothing to worry about, Smurfette. Wherever they are, I'm certain Papa Smurf and the others are just as safe as we ourselves are right here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if... Ah! What's that? Who's there? Whoa. Oh, it's you! You frightened us! Are you all right? Hurt yourself, you poor thing. 
come with us to the village, and maybe we can help you. It isn't far. Follow me. Hey, Clumsy, hurry up with those other branches. Uh, here I come, Handy. Here I... Uh, hey, look out. Whoa, wow! Oh, gosh, are you all right, Bandy? Maybe I should lie down. My color's not too good. Oh, gee, I'm the same color as you, Bandy. Maybe I ought to lie down, too. Are you feeling better? Papa Smurf's moss balm should help your foot a lot. And these goodies will help you keep up your strength. Greedy. Dear, do not eat Smurf berry tarts. They are exclusively herbivorous, which means they can only digest a diet of leaves, twigs, flowers, or grass. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> he likes it. That's impossible. I just don't understand it. You know, Greedy, I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something kind of familiar about this deer. I cannot believe these worthless dogs let it get away. But Sir Malcolm, enough! Tomorrow we capture that black stag or by thunder. It's the dungeon. Yes, Sir Malcolm. Yes, Your Grace. Oh, I'm begging your pardon, Sir Malcolm, but have you heard any word from King Gerard? No, Mrs. Sowerberry, I have not. Well, I know I shouldn't worry so, but it's just not like His Majesty to have left so sudden-like without even saying goodbye. There was great urgency, Mrs. Sowerberry. Affairs of state. Oh, well, you know, I'm so fond of his highness and that dear little clockwork smurf that whenever they're away, I just naturally feel that... Yes, yes, Mrs. Sowerberry, I quite understand. Now, I must retire, madam. The hunt resumes early tomorrow. Oh, uh, sleep well, your lordship. So, she misses you, dear cousin. <laughs> They call me Malcolm the Mean, you know. But what would they call me if they saw my latest trophy? <laughs> what a prize! <gasps> but my greatest prize is yet to come. The Black Stag. For when it is mine, I shall become king! Is that not true, dear cousin? With my magic amulet, I've turned you into a deer. And now your loyal subjects are hunting down their own king! <laughs> Poor King Gerard. After tomorrow's hunt, the throne will be mine. So until tomorrow, <laughs> dear cousin, pleasant dreams, wherever you are. <laughs> It's no use. I've got to get help before it's too late. Just as I thought. Harmony's tracks lead directly to King Gerard's castle. Then Harmony must be in there. Look, there he is. It's Harmony. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Harmony, are you all right? Oh, Papa Smurf, I'm so glad I found you. That mean Malcolm the Mean has captured Clockwork Smurf, and he's, he's going to do away with King Gerard. What? How do you know? He has a magic amulet, and he turned King Gerard into a deer, and he's going to try to catch him tomorrow. The stag! This must not be! If we can get that magic amulet, perhaps we can break the spell. <laughs> we'll smurf that amulet away from him! Yeah! He'll never know what smurfed him! Oh, uh, well, won't that be kind of dangerous? We must try, Harmony. It's King Gerard's only hope. And Clockworks, too! I guess you're right. Follow me! This way. Come on! Wow, what a strange place. I've never seen anything like it. The animals are so still. I'm afraid these are just stuffed animals, Hefty. What do we do now, Papa Smurf? First, we'll try to revive Clockwork. Then we'll find Malcolm's amulet. All right, now every Smurf lift on the count of three. One, two, three. Smurf! <laughs> 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 
Too bad Hendy isn't here. He'd know just what to do. Perhaps if I turn this switch... Smurf, see it? 
Uh-uh. It's too dark down there. What'll we do? If we had a light and some rope, perhaps we could fish it out. <coughs> well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Gently now, my little Smurfs. That's the way. Lower away! Hold it! There it is! Okay! Smurf away! Well, let's hope we don't run into any more unexpected surprises on the way home. Mrs. Sowerberry! Sir? Have you seen my amulet? Oh, oh, oh uh, no, Sir Malcolm. It's missing. Have the servants search every room in the castle immediately. Oh, oh yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> I must find that amulet. Without it, I could lose my power over Gerard. Well, have you found it? We've searched the castle from top to bottom, Sir Malcolm. And? Your amulet is nowhere to be found. Then we must find the black stag without delay. Do not escape me today. Scissors. Now to see if the treatment was a success. Mr. Deer. Now you can go back to the forest. Whatever is he doing? Why, he's drawing a picture. It looks like a castle. But what does it mean? What are you trying to tell us? Wait! Don't run away! You're safe here! Hmm. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. As I was saying to Papa Smurf just the other day, it seems... Papa Smurf! And Clockwork! Oh, Clockwork, it's so good to see you! Tell me, how are all your gears? Oh, that's fine, fine! My little Smurfs, there is not a moment to lose. We must find the black stag and bring it here to the village. But Papa Smurf had just left. What? That's right. It was hurt, so we brought it here and took care of it. Great Smurfs! That deer was King Gerard. King, King Gerard? Gerard? I knew there was something familiar about that deer. We must find the king before the hunters do. I'll stay here and try to find a way to break the spell. Leave no stone unturned, my little Smurfs. His life depends on it. Yes, Papa Smurf. King Gerard! Uh, King Gerard? Clumsy, what are you doing? Well, uh, Papa Smurf said to leave no stone unturned. Oh. King Gerard! Hello! King Gerard! King Gerard! Hurry, Grouchy, we've got to keep looking. I hate looking. Where can he be? <laughs> Look! Wait! Come back! <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! He's headed toward Grey Air Gully! Come on! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> He's getting tired! Let's see. Cures for antler rust, open mouth, grazing neck. No, that's not right.
mind and heart, let the transformation start. Now, cruel Malcolm's curse adjourn, and then let King Gerard return. What in the... There he goes! Wait, don't shoot. It is I, King Gerard. <gasps> Your Majesty! But, but the Black Stag. I want him captured alive. Yes, yes Your, Your Highness. Highness. Thank you, dear friends. Once again, I owe you my life. If not for your kindness and the bravery of Harmony and my dear clockwork, I might have been just another prize for Malcolm to hang on his wall. And what will become of Malcolm now, Your Majesty? I shall restore him to normal only after he is captured. Perhaps my cousin will have learned a lesson after the dogs have snapped at his own heels for a while. Let's hear it for King Gerard! Hooray! Hooray! what I call cruelty to animals. Ah, spring. Yes, it's that time of year, Farmer, when the hearts of creatures everywhere lightly turn to thoughts of love. Aye, and marriage. Yes, marriage, too. That rabbit's in a mighty big hurry. Didn't even stop for a nibble. Where are you off to in such a hurry, my furry friend? You're getting married in the morning? Well, you've got a lot of planning to do. Don't let us hold you up. And my best wishes to the bride. Hmm. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. Except for me. Who in the world would want to marry me? Hello, Farmer. Isn't it just the smurfiest day ever? Here's a flower for you. You can pin it in your hat. Oh, oh, well, uh, oh. Thank you, smart hat. Uh, uh. Why is it my tongue turns into a turnip whenever I try to talk to Smurfette? Could it be that I am in love with Smurfette? Yes, I'm in love with Smurfette. She'd make a perfect bride. Uh, but what would Smurfette want with a farmer like me? Now, if only I could impress her. Ah, maybe I could write her a poem. That's a wonderful idea. Except for one thing, I can't write poems. But there's one Smurf in the village who can. Oh, it's Smurf. I need help from you. Uh, but what can I do for you, Farmer Smurf? I need some way to express my love for Smurfette. I was wondering if, um... If I would write a poem declaring your love for her, I would be glad to. But this must be our secret. Oh, my lips are sealed. Now, where do I find a Smurf to deliver this letter to Smurfette? Ah, Rouchy, of course. Rouchy? I would like you to deliver this letter to Smurfette. But in so doing, I must swear you to secrecy. I hate secrecy. Remember, mum's the word. Oh, now who can that be? Why, Grouchy, hello. Here. Oh, it's from a secret admirer. Oh, I just love secret admirers. I hate secret admirers. Oh. He has such a way with words. I can just tell from his poem that he is very, very handsome and refined, romantic and witty, genteel and smurfy. Oh, I'm going to answer him right away. Oh, Crouchy, you must deliver my answer today. But you must promise me you'll keep it a secret. I hate secrets. Oh, secret admirer, my heart's all aflame. I'm covered with goosebumps to find out your name. So, secret admirer, whomever you be, meet me tonight beside the oak tree. That's me, Grouchy. She wants to meet me. Oh, no. No, she doesn't want to meet me. She wants to meet her secret admirer. Maybe, just maybe, mind you, I could get somebody to help me be charming. But who? Where can I find a Smurf who is charming, refined, and sophisticated? And don't forget, handsome, you have found your Smurf. Why, yes. I think you're the perfect Smurf to teach me charm. But I'll have to swear you to secrecy. To never tell a living Smurf. My beautiful lips are sealed. 
You should know this mask you're making will change me from a country bumpkin to a charming, sophisticated smurf handy. Farmer, with this mask, you'll be irresistible. Try it on. It does change my appearance. She'll never recognize me. Thank you, Handy. And remember, keep this under your smurf. It's a secret. Oh, here I sit with a formula for turning smurfs into gold, and I can't get on with it because I lack one simple ingredient. Smurfs. After bringing it to a boil, add six smurfs and let simmer. Six smurfs, yeah. Osriel. That's all I need. Uh. Just six smurfs. Big Mouth hungry. When Big Mouth hungry, Big Mouth must eat. Oh, uh, uh, nice of you to stop by, Mr. Big Mouth. Uh, but uh, instead of my laboratory equipment, uh, how would you like some uh, 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 rock stew with slime sauce uh, flavored with Smurf hats? Yummy! Big Mouth loves rock stew with slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. If you can bring me back six Smurfs, I shall prepare you a feast. One hundred gallons of rock stew and slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Rock stew and slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. Yum, yum, yummy. Oh, Azriel, Big Mouth is the answer to my prayers. We shall have our six Smurfs after all. She uh, should be here any minute, Vanity. Better put on your mask, Farmer. Oh, and who are you? What's in a name? That which we call a nose by any other name could smell as sweet. That's rose, not nose. Oops, sorry. Why are you wearing a mask, secret admirer? Because I, uh, I want you to love me for my inner beauty. If you beheld my face, you, uh... You would faint away at the sight of my loveliness. Oh. You would faint away at the sight of my loveliness. And never get to know the real me. Let's not be going overboard here, Vanity. When you've got it, flaunt it. Since we met by the tree, I know more than before. Mysterious stranger, it is you I adore. Oh, I'm so confused, Grouchy. I love him, but... Oh, well, please deliver this to my secret admirer and promise to keep it a secret. I hate secrets. Mysterious stranger, it is you I adore. Ah, uh, Smurfette's not in love with me. She's in love with a mysterious stranger. When she finds out her secret admirer is a country pumpkin, I'll be the laughing stock of the village. Shall I tell her the truth? My farmer, uh, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, 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 uh. Food! Big Mouth needs food! That's funny. Big Mouth thought he saw two blue Smurfs. Big Mouth have one Smurf. Now need one, two, seven, three, sixteen, only five more. <laughs> then Big Mouth get rock stew with slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. Yum, 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 yummy. You got any threes? Go Smurf. Has anyone seen Smurfette and Farmer? It's getting nasty out there. If Smurfette and Farmer are in the forest during the storm, I'm concerned about their safety. Fellow Smurfs, I think we had better go and look for Smurfette and Farmer before the storm gets any worse. I don't understand how those two could go off into the forest knowing a storm was coming. Oh! Help! Help! Smurfette, help! That sounds like cry of Smurf. Help! Help! Smurfette, help! Big Mouth right. <laughs> he kind of muddy, but he still have hat. Now Big Mouth have two Smurfs. If Big Mouth have two Smurfs, how many Smurfs Big Mouth need to make six? One, two, seven. Big Mouth not worry about counting Smurfs. Big Mouth worry about catching Smurfs to boil in rock stew with slime sauce. Yummy! It has all the ingredients, Azriel. Decomposed granite, water from the slime pond. All we need now are six Smurf hats. <laughs> I never thought it would end this way. Being turned into rock stew. <laughs> oh, Farmer, all the years we lived in the village, and we really never got to know each other. That's right.
right smart fat. I wish I'd had the chance to, to know you better, too. And now we've no time left. Oh, Farmer, I, I may as well tell you my secret. I'm in love with the most handsome, romantic, wonderful, sensitive Smurf in the world. He writes beautiful poetry and says the smurfiest thing. Uh, no, I, I'll never be able to see him again. <laughs> Who is it, Smurfette? I don't know. He has kept his identity a secret, even though he asked me to marry him. After giving marriage a lot of thought, I was going to tell him that I'm too young to marry. But what does it matter now? Soon we will be in Gargamel's cauldron. <laughs> Smurfette, I know your secret admirer will understand. And he'll never, never forget you. Oh, Farmer, I feel so much better. You're such a good friend. Do you have a secret, too? Yes, Smurfette, I do. You see, I... I... Big Mouth hungry. Big Mouth eat. No, Big Mouth. Don't eat those. Why not? Big Mouth hungry. Because they are poisonous. One bite of those toadstools and you will die. Toadstools? Yeah! Little Muddy Smurf warned Big Mouth not to eat mushrooms. So Big Mouth set Little Smurfs free. You've got them! The six Smurf hats required for the rock stew and slime sauce. Oh, yum, 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 yum. And just in time, the stew is ready. All but the six hats. Gargamel has tricked you, Big Mouth. Six Smurf hats would make rock stew in slime sauce. Inedible! The seasoning required for rock stew is two red shoes. Big Mouth hungry! Big Mouth find two red shoes. Now Big Mouth can eat rock stew and slime sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Rock stew with red shoes really is yummy. Rock stew with red shoes fill Big Mouth tummy. <laughs> I guess that smurfs the cap on the milk jar. Anyhow, I've been smurfing on a poem myself. Love is... Farmer, I brought you some lunch. Well, that's mighty thoughtful of you, Smurfette. Well, what's on that piece of paper? Oh, it's a poem I'm writing, but you'll think it's silly. Oh, no, I won't. I promise. Uh, <clears throat> Love is like an onion. Sometimes it makes you cry. Friendship's like a bunion. It grows as time goes by. <laughs> One for me, oh, one for the basket. One for me, oh, one for the basket. One for me, oh. Gee, Grouchy, this new Smurf oh. Fairy patch has enough fairies to feed the whole village. Not if Greedy oh. picks them. What's that? I hate that. I wonder what it is. Timber! Everybody, tree cutters, they're cutting down the forest. We've got to tell Papa Smurf. Let's go. <laughs> and the tree cutters are working right over there, Papa Smurf. Timber! I don't understand, Papa Smurf. Everyone knows this forest is protected by King Gerard. This is terrible. We must inform King Gerard at once. I'll go, Papa Smurf. Feathers will take me. <laughs> Feathers, we have to go to King Gerard right away. I better go with you, Smurfette. I hate tree cutters. Oh, hurry, Feathers, hurry. Goodbye, and be careful. We will, Papa Smurf. Come, my little Smurfs. Let's see what we can do to stop the tree cutters. According to this map, the river will take our logs directly to the mill. Get perfect, Ludwig. But, 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 but boss not. What if King Javard finds out? Maybe we should go to another forest, yes. Forget it, sap brain. These trees are huge. I'll make a fortune. <laughs> but, but, but they say this forest is enchanted. Don't be ridiculous. Now get back to work. I want this entire area leveled by tomorrow. Oh. to stop these tree cutters, the animals will lose their home. Oh, yeah, not to mention our Smurfs. We cannot wait for King Gerard. There isn't time. We must come up with a plan. I've got a plan, Papa Smurf. 
That's it, Andy. They're tools. They can't cut trees without tools. Now listen, my little Smurfs. I think I know a way we can stop the tree cutters. Look! It's King Gerard's castle! I hate flying! All right now, you all know the plan, so let's get Smurfing. Very clumsy. We've got to untie these horses before someone sees us. Let's go, my friend! Get you, horse! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Well, don't just stand there. Get those horses. Come back here. Quickly, Smurfs, drag these tools away. This thing is heavy, Papa Smurf. Don't give up. Smurf with all your might. Whew. I wish King Gerard would hurry up and get here. Are you sure you know where we're going, Brainy? Um, uh, 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 well, of course. King Gerard's throne room should be just around this corner. Yeah. Oh, no! More soldiers! <laughs> it's Clockwork Smurf. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Clockwork, you must take us to King Gerard. What do you mean he's gone? I thought he took you everywhere. Oh, I see. King Gerard is on the holiday at the beach and was afraid that the seawater would make clockwork rusty. I hate rusty. My brilliant mind has come up with an idea. Let's leave him a note. Dear King Gerard, tree cutters are smurfing your forest. You must smurf them before they smurf the smurfs from Smurf Village. Smurfily yours, Brainy Smurf. Now, isn't that a masterpiece of clarity and brevity? Isn't that just... Very smurfy, Brainy. I'll just leave the note here on King Gerard's throne. We'd better get back to the village. Why don't you come with us, Clockwork? Keep trying, Smurfs. We must get these tools out of here before they return. We're trying, Papa Smurf. We've already moved this axe five feet. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! The tree cutters have recaptured their horses! And they're coming back! Quickly, Smurfs, cover the tools with leaves. Perhaps we can hide them from the tree cutters. Hurry, hurry! But not! I tell you, I tied the horses myself. Hurry, let's smurf out of here. Oh, yeah? Well, then, how did they get untied? Boss not! Boss not! Our tools are gone! He's right! I left my axe right here! First the horses, and now the tools are gone. What's going on around here? It's ghosts. I told you this forest is enchanted. Nonsense. They don't just disappear. The tools must be around here somewhere. Ouch! Gee, the leaves must have blown over them. That's right. Now get back to work, all of you. We're behind schedule. So much for that plan. Now what do we do, Papa Smurf? Maybe we won't have to do anything. Look, it's feathers. I can't wait to hear the good news. You mean King Gerard is not coming? That's not the news I wanted to hear. But we did bring Clockwork back to help us, Papa Smurf. <laughs> and welcome you are. Yes, and I left King Gerard a very clear note, Papa Smurf. I'm sure he'll come just as soon as he reads it. Hey, then it may be too late. Do you have a plan, Papa Smurf? Yes, I do. I'm afraid we have to evacuate the village. Evacuate the village? We have no choice. We must be prepared for the worst. I hate the worst! Papa's right. I'll get the wagons ready. While you're all packing, Brainy, Hefty, and Clockwork will help me try to slow the tree cutters. Keep working, Ludwig. We don't have much daylight left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Boznod. Whoops! <laughs> What is going on here? I told you this forest was enchanted. Look, we was right. It must be ghosts. Let's get out of here. Bah! Don't try to blame ghosts for your mistakes. Now we'll have to work through the night to make up for lost time. You, you mean we'll have to stay here all night? That's right, and I'll throttle the next man who mentions ghosts. Ah! Get off me, you numbskull, and get back to work. Well, we slowed them down a little bit. <laughs> What now, Papa Smurf? I think I know how to get rid of these tree cutters for good. Quickly, my little Smurfs, back to the village. Well, I guess that's everything. Oh, Handy, leaving makes me so sad. 
I hate leaving. Goodbye, little village. <laughs> I have a new plan to stop the tree cutters, and we'll need every Smurf's help, particularly yours, Clockwork. What do you want us to do, Papa Smurf? Gather all the string you can find. We'll also need leaves, and paint, and brushes, and wood, and hurry! A spirit! Ludwig, you fool, get back to work! Okay, boss. Yikes! What was that? It was a twig, Pine Brain. Now chop down that tree! Maybe he's right. Maybe there are no ghosts. <gasps> we are the spirits of the forest. Be gone, tree hunter. Be gone. Leave our forest before it is too late. Ghosts! <laughs> Nonsense! Remember what I said I'd do to the next man who mentioned ghosts? Now, what were you saying, Ludwig? <laughs> Come back here, you fools! You're the fool, tree cutter! And now you shall pay for your trespassing! A ghost! Help! 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 Get off me! Help! Get away from me! Get away! Mr. Knot, huh? what is the meaning of this? King Gerard! I warned you to stay out of my forest. But, but I... Arrest this man, too. I want all of these men banished from my kingdom. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Thank you. But first, you and your men will plant 100 trees for every tree you have cut. Away with them! <laughs> Clockwork, are you there? Smurfs! You can come out now. The tree cutters are gone. Yay! Oh, yeah! Help me! Oh, King Gerard, you were right just in time. I would have been here sooner, but it took me a while to figure out what your note meant, Brainy. Really? I thought it was quite clear. Well, let's be thankful that the forest has been saved. Yes, thanks to you, Smurfs. Well, as I always say, never fear. As long as there are spurs protecting these forests, these trees will stand forever. <laughs> Except for this one. Well, well, well. It's about time you brought the little Smurfling to see me, Papa Smurf. It's a fine, fine baby. Thank you, Omnibus. Come, my Smurfy friends. I've prepared a delicious dinner to celebrate this wonderful occasion. Omnibus sure is happy to see us, Papa Smurf. Well, Farmer, I guess Omnibus gets a little lonely living here all by himself. I never get lonely. I always have me. You Smurfs are very lucky. You have each other to keep you company. Yes, <laughs> you are very lucky indeed. I don't know what we're going to do, Magpie. <laughs> With Shedlock in jail, I'm afraid we'll have to fend for ourselves. Yeah. That means stealing. Ah, boy, I told you no jail be holding me for long. Yeah. Shedlock! Oh, Shedlock, you got away! Get away from me, boy. We've got work to do. We gotta get out of this kingdom. But first, we gotta scare up some financing. That's where you come in, Dipper, me boy. I'm too well known in town, but you, you ain't. Time to be putting to good use all I've been teaching you. You'll be snatching a few purses for old Shedlock first thing in the morning. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed your dinner, Papa Smurf. It was delicious, Omnibus, my friend. Oui, oui. Mmm, magnifique. <laughs> I fixed you a place to sleep by the fire. And I have a special surprise for all of you in the morning. Oh, what is it, Omnibus? Let us fire our curiosity. Tomorrow, I'm taking you all into town. Into town? You mean the human village? A wonderful idea. I can't wait. I don't know, Omnibus. I've always told the Smurfs to avoid the human village. Where's your sense of adventure, Papa Smurf? It'll be a wonderful experience for them. Oh, can I go? Please, Papa Smurf, we want to go. Very well, very well, my little Smurfs. But I caution you, you must be careful. The human village can be dangerous. 
Melons, beautiful melons, get your melons, they are fresh today. Peas, trinkets, baubles, gems to deadly eyes. Many a purse is in the marketplace today. I don't know, Shedlock. What if I get caught? Listen, boy, I got an investment in you. Time for it to pay off. Sure, Shedlock. Whatever you say. There's a purse out there just waiting to be plucked. Well, this is it, my friends. The human marketplace. They come here to buy everything they need. Beautiful jewels, pearls, rubies, and gems. Oh, my. Necklaces, rings, all manner of things. I could spend a year just trying things on. It's all very unsmurfy, if you ask me. Shh. Someone is coming. <laughs> hey, come back! Thief! Thief! <laughs> Over here, boy. Let's see how much you got. I'm real proud of you, lad. We're gonna go far together. Hmm? I suspected you'd try one last theft before leaving the kingdom, Sherlock. Now I'm happy to say you won't be leaving this kingdom for a very long time. Nor will your young partner in crime. We're putting you in the king's prison this time. No, Magistrate. Have you found my purse, good sir? Ah, omnibus. Though it was you the boy robbed. Well, I'm sure you'll find everything in order, old friend. Ahem, uh, yes, uh, thank you. Everything seems to be here. I guarantee you swift justice, Omnibus. The boy will be a grown man by the time he gets out of prison. Please, Mr. Magistrate. I didn't want to do it. Shut up. He made me do it. Shut up, you sniveling little... Quiet, you! Magistrate, why don't you give the boy another chance? I'm sure with the proper guidance... Guidance? Guidance? Oh, Omnibus, the boy is just plain bad. The only thing his kind understands is bread, water, rats, and change. Well, my purse has been returned and I refuse to testify against him. But, Omnibus, he's guilty. Nevertheless, I know the law and I will not testify against him. Then, what do you suggest I do with him? Well, I'll take him in. Perhaps I can give him the guidance that will, well, help him grow up to be a good, law-abiding young man. Ah, well, very well, Omnibus. You may have him. Just remember, let the lad step out of line once, just once, and it's the king's prison. Take him away. There's no prison that can hold me. The boy is still asleep. We'd better be going before he sees us. I'll come back in a few days to see how the boy is progressing. Good. Farewell, my friends. Au revoir. Cleanliness is next to godliness. <laughs> oh, boy, Master Omnibus, I got one! Get a good rest, Dipper. Your first day of school is tomorrow. School? Yuck! Now, now, you must learn to read and write and to do numbers. Why can't you teach me everything? I don't know everything. You must have a proper education. Listen, I've been thinking. You should have a proper name, too. Dipper is no name for a boy. A new name? Yes, a name that will put your past forever behind you. How about... Justin? Justin? Yes. Oh, Justin. I really like it. Oh, omnibus. Justin. Oh, Justin. Sleep well. Ah. So, things are going along smoothly with the boy. Yes, Justin is quite the young man. He should be home from his first day of school at any time now. Papa Smurf, I'd like your advice on something. Really? Uh, what is the problem? My magic powers. Thus far, I've concealed my magic from the boy. I don't want him to know I'm, uh, well, different. Different? Different from what? Well, different from um, other fathers. I see. Well, my friend, I'm sure you'll know when the time is right. Uh, someday, he may even become your apprentice. <laughs> that would be marvelous. <laughs> Checkmate, old friend. Master Omnibus, Master Omnibus, I'm home. You were right, Omnibus. School was fun. See, I told you. I even made friends with the other children. And the teacher was a funny little lady, but very smart. But not as smart as you, Omnibus. My, my, how the boy has changed. Now go to your room and wash up for dinner. Yes, sir. 
is certainly a fine lad. Well, I'd better be going before... Who will in the name of the king? Well, Master Omnibus, I told you the boy was no good. Magistrate, what do you mean? He stole the school teacher's jewel bracelet on his first day of school. Yep, stole it, he did. But I didn't steal anything. Grab him, bailiff. Surely there must be some explanation. He's a thief, Omnibus, plain and simple. Plain and simple. You can't protect him anymore. Oh, my. Run you some company, Shedlock. <coughs> Hope you both enjoy your stay. It'll be quite a long one. What happened, boy? They say I stole a bracelet from the school teacher. <laughs> but, boy, <laughs> you're gonna have to learn to keep from getting caught. But, Shedlock, I didn't do it. I love family reunion. Act, Julie, you arrived just in time. <coughs> By dawn, we'll be in another kingdom. But we gotta make one little stop first. That was a pleasant walk, Papa Smurf. More like a pleasant run. It's not easy for a Smurf to take a walk with the human. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa Smurf. My mind was preoccupied. You can ride on my shoulder the rest of the way. Omnibus, wait. What is that? Let me take a look. Why, it seems to be a treasure. Here's my graduation ring from wizard school. The gold belt buckle you gave me for my last birthday. And the teacher's bracelet. Hmm. They've been hidden here. Yes, the perfect place for the thief living in my house to hide his stolen They'll goods. They'll do nicely for a start. Who's there? And you, boy, saying the old man didn't have nothing worth stealing. You shouldn't have held out on me, lad. It ain't civilized. I didn't steal those things. And if you don't leave Master Omnibus alone, I'll... Oh. Defy me, will you? Boy, uh... Hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah. oh, Omnibus, it's so good to be home. But how do those chains do that? I don't understand. It is a great secret. A secret I shall one day explain to you, my boy. Oh, there. Well done, Omnibus. You've caught them both. There's plenty of room in the prison wagon for you, too, boy. Master Omnibus, please help me. No, Omnibus, no. You can't use your magic in opposition to the law. I have a plan to prove the boy's innocence. Now listen to my dear friend. And uh... I only agree to this nonsense because of our long friendship, Omnibus. And only because that rascal Shedlock is in the prison wagon and guarded by my bailiff do I feel my ring is safe. Come, we will hide in the boy's room. Ah, it's all a waste of time, if you ask me. We shall see. Ooh, what was that? Shh, be quiet. So, it was... Magpie! Bailiff, bailiff, arrest that bird! Obviously, the boy is innocent. Oh, thank you, Omnibus. Thank you. Now we can begin again, Justin. And ahem, you must teach Magpie the fruits of the honest path. Oh, I will, Omnibus. You've taught me well. But I have one question. And what's that, my boy? What made the lamp turn brighter? Well, <laughs> and that is another secret I may share with you someday, Justin. It's well past your bedtime, son. We have a big day tomorrow. Ah, it's good to see Hondabus so happy. That young boy will be good for him. Ah, it makes me miss my little Smurfs. There he goes, bailiff! There he goes! After him! Yeah! Humans are the strangest people. I wish they'd hurry up. <laughs> All right, my little Smurfs, let's get to the business at hand. We have indeed a most Smurfy decision to make. And as Papa Smurf's esteemed assistant, the uh, question is, what are we going to give Papa Smurf for Papa's Day? Papa's Day only comes once a year, so it has to be something very Smurfy. I think a mirror would be divine. Oh. I think a pie is a much better idea. Oh. <gasps> the fun thing, it would be magnifique. Oh. Papa Smurf already has all of those things. His closet is bursting. Why do you give the Smurf who has everything? Every Smurf quiet. 
I know what to give Papa Smurf for Papa's Day. You do? I think it's time Papa Smurf had a new hat. A new hat? Oh, Taylor, what a Smurfy idea. It shall be the master pass the hat. <laughs> Hello? Happy Papa's Day! Papa's Day? Papa's Day? <laughs> Why, so it is. Oh, we've made you such a smurfy gift, Papa Smurf. I wanted it to be sturdy so it can never wear out. I wanted it to be practical to protect you from the sun. Of course, it ought to be colorful. And part of it is edible. Mm -hmm. Papa Smurf, it is no doubt my finest part. It has pockets, so you can carry things. Just look at those mirrors. That was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, it sure is funny. <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf, you are positively dazzling. It's uh, uh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, my little Smurfs. I'm really quite uh, uh, overcome. Yay! Amazing, is it not, Osriel? <coughs> Those rotten blue bumblers are practically in my stew pot. There's just one little problem. Bait, Osriel, bait! I've got to find something to lure those miserable Smurfs into my trap. Let's get this job finished. Papa Smurf should be here any moment. There, that should do it. How's it going down there? We're all through, Papa Smurf. Fine, fine. Uh, let me take a look. Oops! Papa Smurf, you've lost your hat! Great Smurf, so I have. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. We'll save it. No, no, my little Smurfs. That current is much too swift. Drat it, Asriel. You can never find a Smurf berry when you need one. And they're just the bait I need for the trap. There it goes! Don't let it get away! Smurfs, Asriel! I see Smurfs! And, and they're in the river! And they're, they're chasing... Uh, a hat? Quickly, Asriel! Let's get them! Oh, no! It's a good thing we were around, Papa Smurf. Yeah! You might have lost your hat forever! That would have been a shame. A truly terrible shame. Wind from the sky, come brighten my day. Come to me now and blow this hat away. Stop, you idiot! Sacre bleu green from her. What is this? Looks like Papa Smurf's hat to me. Papa Smurf must be most upset to have lost it. Well, we'd best be getting it back to him. Papa Smurf must be mighty worried. Papa Smurf! Oh, Papa Smurf! Where is your beautiful hat? Ah, it's lost, Smurf, and gone. I'm afraid a great puff of wind just smurfed it away. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! It is a miracle! Farmer and I are in the forest, and your marvelous chapeau, it tumbles to our feet. <laughs> uh, thank you, Peter. I'm certainly glad you found my magnificent hat. Amazing. Interesting how crows will use almost anything to build their nests. Of course, I shall lend a hand to my feathered friends, or should I say, lend them a hat? I do believe I've seen the last of my marvelous hat. Oh, oh gosh, Papa Smurf, you lost your hat. <sighs> I was taking a nap in the forest, and before I knew it, a crow flew off with my wonderful hat. Oh, Papa Smurf, how awful for you. There's only one thing to do, Papa Smurf. We'll organize a Smurf party. We'll find that crow's nest. That would be wonderful. The problem is bait, Osriel, bait. We must entice those stinking Smurfs into the trap. Give me that hat, you feathered fool. I don't know what interest the Smurfs have in this monstrosity, but I can certainly use it for Smurf bait. <laughs> <laughs> there! That should do it, Azriel! <laughs> I was right, Azriel. They're coming! Oh, how I love that hideous hat! Hey, every Smurf! There it is! <laughs> oh, happy day! 
thanks to that hat, I eat Smurfs tonight. Oh, please, Gargamel. At least leave the hat for Papa Smurf. It's his most precious possession. Is it now? Then we shall take it home. And when your precious Papa Smurf comes to rescue your miserable hides, perhaps he'll tell me more about the secrets of his wonderful hat. <laughs> hmm. My little Smurf should have been back long ago. Feathers, we'd better have a look. Not a Smurf in sight, Feathers. Wait, I think I see something. Look at this, Feathers. A mirror from my hat. If I'm not mistaken, the way these leaves are scattered, it looks like some kind of trap. Now, what would my hat be doing out here? Great Smurfs! A trap! And my hat can only mean... Gargamel! Quickly, Feathers! There is no time to lose! I was right, Feathers. Gargamel has captured my little Smurfs. I thought your Papa Smurf would be here by now. I hate Smurfs who are late for dinner. <laughs> Papa Smurf doesn't know where we are. No use waiting for him. Uh, he could... What Clumsy meant was Papa Smurf might be late. But, but, but if you want a whole dinner, that's fine with us. <laughs> when he can't find you in the forest, he'll know where to come. Right into my clutches. Good evening, Gargamel. You aren't holding up dinner for me, are you? Papa Smurf! I thought you'd be here sooner or later. You're a clever one, all right, Gargamel. Now, if you'll just give me my hat, I'll be going. Give you your hat? You mean, you don't want me to free your miserable Smurfs? That's up to you. But I really would like my hat returned. It's a very special hat. You, you, you mean, you'd rather have your hat than your Smurfs? Hmm. Given that choice, I'd have to choose the hat. Uh, I didn't realize how much Papa Smurf loved his new hat. Silence, you simpering Smurfs. Now, Papa Smurf, I would like to discuss your hat. Just what makes it so special? Oh, I didn't mean to say it was... Yes, you did! Yes, you did! Yes, you did! You said this hat was special! <laughs> it's some kind of a magic hat, isn't it, Papa Smurf? Now, uh, Gargamel, I, I did not use the word uh, magic. I knew it! I knew it! This is a magic hat! Now, my dear Papa Smurf, you will tell me how it works. That I will never do. I demand that you tell me how this hat works, or or I shall eat your rotten little Smurfs right before your very eyes. Gargamel, I demand that you remove my hat. But be careful. Whatever you do, don't spin around. Ah, so that's it. I spin around and... I'm warning you, don't make any wishes. I've got it. I've got it. I spin around and make wishes. I'm afraid you're just too smart for me, Gargamel. I wish for gold, I wish for diamonds, for money, fame, fortune, <laughs> bit of teeth, no more bunions, no more smurfs, and no more spinning. Oh, no. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. My head is spinning. <laughs> the smurfs, Azriel! Those rotten smurfs have escaped! <laughs> I've been tricked. This rotten, hideous hat is a fake. Oh, Azriel, oh, I'm going to be sick. Well, my little Smurfs, at least we're all safe. Except, of course, for my, uh, my beautiful hat. Oh, gosh, Papa Smurf, your hat's come home. Yay! Maybe I should put some blue on the hat band. All right, take it in a size or two. Uh, no, that won't be necessary. Like I always say, Papa Smurf, home is where the hat is. And in this case, under such extraordinary circumstances. <laughs> Gee, what did I say wrong this time? Oh, Papa Smurf, we can hardly wait to see you with your hat on again. No, this hat is much too precious to ever wear again. After all, it saved us from Gargamel. I think we should all be able to enjoy this hat. Handy, I want you to do something for me. Ooh. Handy, you did a fine job bronzing that hat. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Oh, Papa Smurf, it looks beautiful. Magnifique! Delicious! Now, my little Smurfs, every time we look at this hat, we can remember our most fortunate escape from Gargamel. This is indeed a very special hat. Oh, Papa Smurf, it did make you look so, so distinguished. It just had that, that 
certain something. You are both absolutely right. And I have a very smurfy idea. We'll make Papa Smurf another hat. Yay! I've done it, Hazriel. I've done it. At last. At long last, something new. A new way to make those rotten Smurfs miserable. Hate juice. <laughs> Think of it, Azriel. Hate juice. Hate, hate, hate. Oh, how I love hate. Here, Smurfette. Let me carry these for you. Oh, thank you, Hefty. You're such a dear. La, 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 la. Say, let me take these cakes to the party table for you, Greedy. Thanks. You're a big help, Hefty. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to give you a bath, baby. <laughs> How's it going, Brainy? I could have volunteered to pick Smurf berries, but oh no, I had to choose balloons. Here, let me do that for you. Oh, Hefty, you are a true friend. As I was saying to Papa Smurf just the other day, of all the Smurfs, there has never been a Smurf. Hmm, I hope it doesn't rain for the party. I'd better go see how my little Smurfs are coming along with the party preparations. I hate party preparations. I hate blue skies. Oh, Azriel, I wish those birds would shut up. I wish it would rain. Yeah, I wish it would snow. I wish it would hail. <sighs> There's too much light in here. And stop that infernal scratch! Now, I must devise a way to get this hate juice into those stinking Smurfs. If I can even get one drop into just one Smurf, then the disease will spread and turn those loving little Smurfs into hateful little beasts. And will you stop that scratching? Perhaps I can get them to drink it. No, 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 they're too suspicious. Uh, uh, perhaps a poison dart. No, it's too, too big. I need something small, something very small, and something they'll never suspect. Of course, that's it. <coughs> Hold still, you wretched cat. Ah, there it goes. Hey, <coughs> got you. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, Lazy Smurf. I asked you to get firewood hours ago. Oh, that's all right, Papa Smurf. Lazy can't help it. I'll get the firewood. Oh, oh thanks, Hefty. You're a real Smurf. <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf, I just love Hefty. We all do, Smurfette. He's a fine Smurf. That's it, my little friend. Drink up. And now, little one, it's time for school. Oh, I love to help my friend. I really, really do. Because when I help my friend, I'm saying I love you. A Smurf. And nearby. Now, my little pupil, let's hope you've learned your lessons well. <laughs> Phew, this ought to be enough. Now be gone. And don't disappoint me. Ouch! Done! <laughs> That's right, just a little higher. Oh, Brady, don't you realize how heavy this is? Mm. Huh? Oh, gosh! Here comes Hefty. He'll help us. He helps everyone. Yoo-hoo! Hefty, will you please give us some help? Help yourself! I'm tired of doing other people's work. I have been standing in line for ten minutes, Greedy, but your punch is really worth it. Oh, him too! Who does he think he is? Did he wait in line? Oh, no! <laughs> Go away, kid! You bother me! I was just having the most wonderful dream. Well, the dream's over, you lazy yeah. <laughs> And I thought we were friends. Baby! Baby! Where are you? Ba oh, Hefty, have you seen Baby? No! Hefty, is everything all right? Why aren't you at the party? It's none of your business! 
It worked immediately. I could see the hate in his eyes. Just like a rotten apple, it only takes one to spoil them all. <laughs> and he spoiled the whole party, Papa Smurf. He was mean and nasty and rude. And he has this yellow X on his arm. A yellow X? Hmm. A yellow X. Yellow, yellow back, yellow cancer root, yellow dog, yellow hate. The yellow hate disease? Oh, my goodness, it's contagious. It's very contagious. Oh. And until I find a cure, every Smurf is confined to his own house. Well, I'm not staying in any house. This disease is very dangerous to us all. Hefty, you are not well. You're the one who's sick. Hefty Smurf, you give me no choice. If you will not stay in your house, then you must leave the village. Oh. Fine. Who needs you Smurfs anyway? Oh, gee, Hefty. I'll come get you when Papa Smurf says it's all right. Don't bother. I am not coming back. I hate the yellow hate disease. I don't care what Papa Smurf says. I'm going to find Hefty and give him the Smurf very goodies. Oh, Asriel, isn't this wonderful weather? Perfect weather for catching snails. Ah, snail stew. I can hardly wait. Why, there's nothing like it on a rainy day. <laughs> yeah. hate disease yet, Papa Smurf? No, I haven't, Brady. All I know is that it is spread by a flea. 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. Oh, there's more than enough. I can even make snail pie. Oh, there you are, you fool cat. How many times have I told you not to? Azriel, what have you done? You stupid cat, you caught the only Smurf who could spread the disease. Who cares? Obviously, you don't. But they do. And when they come looking for you, I'll be waiting. Right, Azriel? <laughs> Smurfette, what is the meaning of this? I told every Smurf to stay home. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa Smurf, but Azriel was out in the woods, and he was carrying Hefty between his teeth, and he was on his way to Gargamel. Gargamels? We must organize a rescue party immediately. Rescue party? For Hefty, who has yellow hate disease? Oh, I'll pickle a few and fry a few and serve a few real cold. Do you think he's expecting us, Papa Smurf? I'm sure he is. How come Gargamel doesn't catch the yellow hate disease, Papa Smurf? I'm sure he has, long ago. They're coming! They're coming! Just like I knew they would! Even if we do rescue Hefty, Papa Smurf, and I'm sure we will, he still has the yellow hate disease. Yes, he does, Brady. And there's nothing I can do about it. And be quiet, or there'll be no Smurfs for you. Oh, there he is. Hefty, we'll get you out of there in a minute. Ah, who cares? We care. All right, my little Smurfs, follow me. And be quiet. Glue! <laughs> So you did, so you did. Papa Smurf, how nice of you to drop in. And with all these little helpers, too. One, two, three, four, five, and the mean one makes six. You know what that means, don't you, Papa Smurf? Go! <laughs> now, what shall we do first? Uh, spread a little hate? Make a little gold? Or have a little fun? <laughs> Well, what have we here? I thought Smurfs were perfect. Oh, Papa Smurf, I can't see. Oh, don't cry, Mr. Smarty Tights. They say if you break a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck. Good luck, Vanity. <laughs> Isn't this cute? <laughs> it's so cute, it makes me sick. At least I don't have to listen to that anymore. No, oh, what fun! <laughs> fun, 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 fun! How you doing, pencil pusher? And you, Grandpa? 
are long overdue for a haircut and a shave. <laughs> well, you don't expect me to eat you wearing all that hair. <laughs> oh, please, Hefty. Somebody, anybody, help! 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 help. Uh, why do you wear that beard, Papa Smurf? Uh, weak chin? <laughs> Oh, Papa Smurf, how I've looked forward to this moment. The Smurfs will never survive without you, Papa Smurf. What's he doing now? I can't see. I can't look. Effie, I know you feel hateful, but you must help us. We love you. We need you. If there is any love left within you, find it now. And now, Papa Smurf, it's time to put you in the barber's chair. I'll get them. I'll get them if it's the last thing I ever do. It sure is great to have my old heart back, Papa Smurf. And it's great to see it there, Hefty. No remedy of mine could have driven out all that hate as well as the drop of love that was left in your heart. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf! Will you please tell Taylor to hurry up with those pants? <laughs> Mummy was thinking of. Well, there'll be no party here. Never has been, never will be. Ah! Halloween! Bah! Birthdays! Bah! And you think those rotten Smurfs will be having a party? Ouch! Stupid fly! To think those little blue beasts will be celebrating and giving thanks for a good harvest. It's enough to make me throw up. I'll harvest them. I'll harvest their little blue heads right off. Stop all that happiness out there! Do you hear? Stop it! Oh, well. Perhaps Mummy will send some hard raisins. She did last year. And one for Queenie, and one for Vanity, and one for Hefty, and one for Smurf, and one for... <laughs> one for Rye! <laughs> <gasps> oh, I just love Halloween. Don't you, Harold? I'm so looking forward to frightening the little children. <laughs> Maybe they'll cry. Oh, they get such a good scare. <laughs> so 
Sometimes it takes years for the little dears to get over it. <laughs> Some of them never get over it. Yes, my pet, soon, soon we shall fly across the hallowed moon and swoop down on the sleeping villagers. Let them hand out their garlic. Let them say their prayers. Let them do what they like. But there is no warding off Hogatha the witch. <laughs> Lazy Smurf, take Jokey's cart out into the forest and see if you can find some red leaves for decorations. Yes, Papa Smurf. Hurry, soon it will be time for Jokey's birthday party. Yes, Papa Smurf. <sighs> As I have been saying, Papa Smurf, Lazy's lack of a sense of social responsibility is appalling. I was telling Smurfette just the other day that Papa Smurf... Goodbye, stay journey. Oh, I do hate to see them go. Oh, well, they'll be back. Uh, uh, now, now, where was I? Oh, yes, the leaves. Oh, they're so lovely. My darlings, you look so lovely just the way you are, but time marches on, you know. Sleep, my little ones. Sleep until next year. Oh, these miserable corns. Now what? Some imbecile child looking for a Halloween treat? I'll give them a treat. I'll give them a good rap on the knuckles with my stick. Well, what have we here? Someone remembered my birthday after all. Well, let's see now. Uh, who could it be from? Uh, Mummy? Godfather? Uh, perhaps? Ah, I wonder... Happy birthday, Gargamel! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Humiliate me, will they? I'll give you a Halloween! I'll give you a present! Oh, gosh. There isn't a red leaf in sight. All this work has made me sleepy. Oh, maybe a little nap. Maybe when I wake up, the leaves will be red. Well, I don't know. You worthless cat, letting him get away. You'll go without for that failure. Ah, here we are. I'll show those rotten smurfs. Mock my birthday, will they? I'll show them. They'll never forget this Halloween. They'll never forget it. Sleep well. Oh, I love this spot. Too long, but uh, first things first, you know. The 
This is horrible. Look at me. I can't go home again. They'll laugh at me. <laughs> we wish you a happy birthday. We wish you a happy birthday. We wish you a happy birthday and Halloween too. Yay! Open your presents. I will, I will. But first, everybody open your presents. <laughs> I have them all in alphabetical order. Start with A. <laughs> B. I cannot believe that a group of perfectly sane Smurfs can be such fools as... Oh, gee, Jokey, it sure is nice of you to give me a present on your birthday. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Well, well, Boy, what a day this is. My second present. of my superior magic, don't you think? Oh, you did this. You're the reason I'm missing Halloween. You spoiled all Hallow's Eve. Why? Why? Just to spite those stupid Smurfs? Don't you realize I spent an entire year getting ready for this one night? Don't you realize if I don't make my rounds, the little children might even be disappointed that they like being frightened? So you see, Father Time, the poor little creature is all red. I just don't know what to do. He's so ashamed. He'll probably miss Jokey's birthday party. You are well aware time cannot be turned back. The idea is unthinkable. My own fault, really. I should have looked before I zapped. 
Oh, there must be something we can do. Nothing. Now, Father, the least you can do is try. To go back in time? Mother, this is a serious matter. More than serious, it just isn't done. Perhaps you could go back and get my other wands. Mother, I have more important things to do than fetch wands. There's a jar of Smurf Berry Jam in the cupboard. There is? Get him, Azriel, get him! Gotcha! <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? A red smurf? A red smurf? <laughs> well, what have you got to say for yourself, eh? I wonder how it happened. I wonder if this condition changes the chemical composition. He's mine, anyway. Do you suppose one red smurf is the equivalent of six blue ones? I saw him first. No, 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 he's mine. Mine! Mine! Hefty, you take a group to Gargamel's and see if he's there. Yes, Papa Smurf. Smurfette, organize a group and go with me. We'll search the forest. Yes, Papa Smurf. And the rest of you. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Put away those umbrellas. Yes, Papa Smurf. My dear Hogatha, why don't we work this out like reasonable people? If you don't give him to me, I'll turn you into a toad. We could share. What's share? We could each make use of him. Oh, let's cut him in half. Good, uh, I think. Uh, where will we do it? Your place or mine? Well, obviously your bird is in no condition to fly and it's too far to walk. Besides, my corns are acting up. I don't trust you. Just give him to me. I found him. I have him. I'll turn you into a toad. You don't have your wand. Lazy. Lazy. Lazy! He's not here! <laughs> ah, Mother, you do make fine jam! There, it's done! <laughs> How beautiful! Now I must hurry and tell dear Papa Smurf about poor little Lazy. Oh, I do wish Father Time would reconsider. Oh, hurry up! I can't stand it! Hefty, what do we do? I don't know! I hate I don't know! <laughs> Agatha, the witch of All Hallows' Eve? And Lazy Smurf is red? Amazing! Hurry, my Smurfs, time is short. Lazy is in great danger. Oh, Papa Smurf, here's the wagon! I can't believe it. Can you believe he's asleep? Going on. They're going to saw Lazy in half. Oh, no, they're not. This idea is ridiculous. What's ridiculous about it? Well, I've been thinking. A, a red smurf is such a rarity. Uh, I can think of so many possibilities. Dried, for instance. He might make a wonderful chili powder. And how do we know that he's a smurf at all? I've never seen a red smurf. Oh, get on with it. Oh, Papa Smurf, we must do something. Empty the blanket. I tell you, Hugger, that this is a mistake. If nothing else, we can hold him for ransom. It is only a matter of time before the blue Smurfs show up. Get on with it! <gasps> Listen to me, you old crone! This Smurf, whatever his color, is worth more as one than he is as two! I refuse to carry out your imbecilic idea! Look! A Smurf! Oh! Another 
formed by the refraction, reflection, and dispersion. Oh, ridiculous! <coughs> Everybody knows rainbows are created by Mother Nature just so those sniveling Smurfs can have an excuse for a party. Well, they'll not celebrate this rainbow day. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, uh, well, at least I can finish my masterpiece. Can't you do something, Papa Sir? We just must have a rainbow. I'm afraid the weather is entirely up to Mother Nature, Smurfette. Oh, do you think she forgot? She's very old. <gasps> Sorry, Papa Smurf. 
That's quite all right, Smurfette. Hmm. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, how distressing. I tell you, Father Time, I've never seen a season like it. Ice melting in the North Pole, snowing in the desert, and all those volcanoes. I've had no time at all for local matters. A more tea. Thank you, no. I'm, I'm running out of time. Oh, 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 Father Time, what a silly thing for you to say. Why, you have all the time in the world. Be that as it may, I must be going. Well, do come back soon. I shall. Oh, by the way, I ran into Leprechaun yesterday. He was complaining. Yes, I know. No rainbow, no work. And the poor Smurfs. Today is Rainbow Day. I hate to disappoint them, but... There's a volcano I must attend to. Oh, oh, busy, busy, busy. What in the world? Lazy Smurf, whatever are they doing? It's the rain dance, Papa Smurf. They're trying to make it rain. <laughs> Amazing. It is said by some that at the end of a rainbow is a pot of gold. Hmm. <coughs> Placed there by a wandering leprechaun, Azriel. <coughs> hmm. I wonder where they get all that gold. Mother Nature, and good it is to see you. At the risk of sounding presumptuous, Mother Nature, I was wondering, uh, well, I thought perhaps, <laughs> I know how busy you are, I thought perhaps we might be able to help you. Why, Papa Smurf, how splendid of you. Oh, me, oh, my. Yes, indeed, you can help. Yes, Hazriel, it's going to rain. I can feel it in my bones. And I'll be ready. Leprechaun and your gold, here I come. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have no trouble at all, Papa Smurf. Just follow the recipe exactly. Exactly? Oh, well, now, Papa Smurf, you know, and I know, that no recipe is exactly true. Well, I really must be going. Give baby a big kiss for me. Of course. Toodaloo. Hmm. My little Smurfs, Mother Nature was kind enough to loan me her rainbow book. Yay! I know we cannot match her power, her ingredients, her experience, or her secrets, but with Greedy's help, with all your help, Rainbow Day may yet come to pass. Yay! Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. Andy Smurf. Yes, Papa Smurf? These are plans for a very special project. Follow them exactly. Yes, Papa Smurf. Smurfette, I need a dozen wild violets. Yes, Papa Smurf. Greedy, get out the great pudding pot and make sure it is very clean. Need your help, Harmony. One can of violet paint and one dozen wild violets. In. One can of blue paint and one dozen bluebells. In. One can of green paint and one dozen fern. In. One can of yellow paint and one dozen buttercups. Um, 11 buttercup cookies and one dozen buttercups. What? Sorry, Papa Smurf, no yellow paint. Sorry, Papa Smurf, I used up all the yellow paint on my latest masterpiece. I suggested he scrape it off, Papa Smurf, but oh no, that would be a desecration. Oh no, art before life. Oh no. Brainy. Yes, Papa Smurf. Enough. Why 11 cookies? Well, uh, I, I only made a dozen, but, uh, well, if you have to know, I gave one to Baby. Hmm. Hmm. Well, no recipe it's is working, exact. Pop, smirk, it's working! Oh! oh. Lovely. A cloud! A cloud! Huh? 
special project ready, Handy? Yes, Papa Smurf. Fire! It's pouring, the leprechaun is snoring. When he hides his pot of gold, my dear, I take it away in the morning. <laughs> one minute, my little Smurfs, one minute. When the rain stops, Hosriel, by my calculations, the rainbow should be right over there. Ten seconds, five seconds. There it is! We must hurry! No time to lose! We must... Yeah! Oh, Baby Smurf! Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Yes, Peter, what is it? Don't you see? See? There is no yellow in the rainbow! No yellow! Well, Papa Smurf, it is obvious to me Rainbow Day will have to be canceled, unfortunately. <laughs> Rainy Smurf, now look what you've done. Faith and be glory, Papa Smurf. That baby cries loud enough to wake the dead. Tell me now, have you all gone daft? I've seen many a rainbow, but never a one with no yellow. Sorry, Michael, but Baby ate one of the buttercup cookies. Did he now? And what does that have to do with the price of bread? Well, you see, Mother Nature was so busy and... I didn't follow the recipe exactly. Ah, so that's it. Surely I can't put me pot of gold at the end of an incomplete rainbow. Gosh, Papa Smurf, isn't this just about the prettiest yellow you ever seen? That's it! Surely I could pick up me gold at the other end. We'll do it! Yay! Gold! Gold! Think of it, Azriel! A pot of gold! Yeah. Easy now, lads. Whatever you do, don't spill a grain of gold. Oh, Handy, I hope this works. That's right, Chucky. Carefully. <laughs> if this works, I'll really be surprised. Ready, Hefty? Ready! Fire! What in the world is that? Join us for the party, Michael. Thank you, no, Papa Smurf. He thinks I'll just be taking a little nap, don't you know? Then be moving on to pick up me gold. Look, Azriel, look, there it is! Just as I knew it would be! Oh, glorious day! Glorious day! It, 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 it's empty! It's gone! Who took my gold? Your gold. Uh, uh, who, who said that? Up here, me good man. Uh, uh, who are you? Uh, give me back my gold, you little runt. <laughs> You'll find no gold here. No gold? Uh, you've made quite an error in your navigations. This isn't the end of the rainbow. It's the beginning. <laughs> the end of the rainbow is way over there. <laughs> Curses! Come along, Asriel. There may yet be time. This way, Asriel. This way. Hurry, hurry, hurry before it's...